What's good guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is going to be about my transformation thing. I did a poll a while back asking people what they want to see for the next video. And the most common thing was, you know, talking about this. So it's going to be a raw one, which is going to ramble on. It's 4 a.m. I've got my coffee here. This is the only time where I'm able to film this, so I'm just going to crack on. So straight into it. Back in March 2020, that's when I started. That's where I was at my worst. So I was weighing about 21 stones, about 134 kg. And let me tell you now, life was just terrible. I couldn't do anything I wanted. Like, just as simple as wearing a white t-shirt, that wasn't a thing because I would wear black all the time to just try and hide as much fat as I could. Summertime comes around, I'd be layering up. So I'd be sweating, you know, <laughs> super uncomfortable. I just never wanted, like, never really left the house. Uh, when it came to summertime, it was that bad. And I think being fat, like you go through scenarios where no one thinks anything of it, but for you, you know, it makes you feel terrible. An example would be like, my best friend's got a three dollar car and there's like three people going out, meaning that I have to sit in the back. The fear of just thinking about people watching me trying to get into the back seat and get out of it because it was a struggle. Um, it was really embarrassing. So. I just hated myself, I really did. Like, I wake up every morning and I'm just like, for God's sake, like, why am I like this? And I think I just blamed everything apart from myself, so that wasn't good. But yeah, zero self-confidence, couldn't speak to anybody. It was just terrible, <laughs> it really was. But I never really did anything about it because one, I loved food, you know, goes without saying. Two, I had a fear of, because I was so big, that I would lose all this weight and end up with loose skin which is terrible because my mindset was like, I want to be able to walk on a beach topless. Do you know what I mean? Like, feel good about myself. But if I had loose skin, for me, it's like just as bad as being stupidly fat. Some people may disagree, but obviously everyone has their opinions. And I always had a fear of, if I was going to get smaller, I would lose the strength at the gym, which nobody wants to do that. Um, but obviously, that's a stupid thing to think about because now I'm way stronger than I used to be and I'm a lot, you know, I'm a, I'm a lot lighter. But <clears throat> at that time, obviously, gym's closed because of lockdown. There was nothing to do. So I thought, if there's going to be a time where I'm going to give this a go, it's going to be now. And back then, I was eating a lot. Like, when I say, like, I was probably hitting about 4,000 calories a day, minimum. Like, my breakfast, no exaggeration, would consist of a full pack of digestive biscuits, the chocolate ones, because they are absolutely bad. Um, go to uni, you know, lunchtime comes, eat at, you know, take out or whatever, snack in between lectures, come home, eat whatever my mum made, go around to the shop, get some snacks, order takeaway. It was just terrible. It really was. Um, but I did a bit of research and... The main thing about all of this was that I wanted to do it by myself. I didn't want to hire, like, I didn't want to pay for a PT or, like, buy any diet plans or anything like that. I just wanted to do it all myself. And thank God I did. Like, I'm, I'm by no means in the best shape, but compared to what I was, you know, I'm a lot better. Um, but, yeah, did a bit of research. Cut my calories at 2,000, which is what everyone does. And going from what I was eating to you know, 4,000 calories to 2,000, obviously it was going to be a lot of uh, weight, you know, dropping. Um, my goal was to hit like 10 kg, like, you know, drop 10 kg by summertime. And little did I know, <laughs> within the first month I lost 10 kg. But the problem was that I didn't see any physical differences because I was just so fat. Like, it took a while to actually see anything um, different. So... After a month of, you know, not eating anything I wanted and still looking the same, it was really like, you know, off-putting. And I was very tempted to just go back to old ways. Because my family would be ordering takeout, eating burgers and stuff, and there's just me and my egg sandwich. You know, life wasn't good. But I think what kept me on track was watching my weight on the scale. So I would weigh myself every morning um, on an empty stomach and every day like I expect myself to lose like you know 0.3 of a kg or whatever and if I didn't 
I would be so mad at myself. I would ruin the whole day for myself because I'd just be so but super moody and I would starve myself. Um, which isn't good, but you know, it kept me on track. So it's, you know, it's one of them, You've got to make a bit of sacrifice. But yeah, so I did that. And I think by the time summer hits, I lost about 20 kg. Then, and only then I was able to see like my face was getting a bit more defined. You know, the veins were showing here and there occasionally and I was getting gassed on it. And I think I built up enough confidence to start posting like some progress photos and you know, the support from people was just ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie, like I did not expect that. From, for a nobody, like so many people messaging saying, yeah, you're doing good. And it, you know, for the most part, there were people that I didn't even know. So that really, really kept me on track. Like I was so gassed and so happy. Like, you know, people were hyping me up and, you know, I just wanted to carry on. And <clears throat> throughout this time, obviously I was doing more and more research about how your body burns calories and whatnot. And one thing I found out, which, you know, I really need to make it very clear is that when people do weight loss, you know, journeys or whatever, first thing they think of is obviously cut all the crap, barely eat anything, which is terrible because you need to eat enough. Um, everybody's different, but that's um, a topic for another time. But the main thing I'm trying to get to is people straight away think, right, first thing I need to do is cardio, like just run on a treadmill for days and days and days and I'm going to lose weight. It does not work like that. Basically, you lose weight from your diet, mainly, um, but it's more about when you do cardio, right, like let's just put an example together. So you run on a treadmill for 20 minutes, right, you burn 100 calories, let's say, just around the number. You do that for a week, right, that's good. The next week, when you do the same thing again, your body quickly adapts to that and therefore it doesn't burn as much calories as you actually think it's doing. Um, and to overcome that, you basically either need to up the intensity or do cardio for longer. And then you'll eventually get to a point where you're doing cardio for two, three hours a day, every day. Nobody wants to do that. It's just terrible and you're not gonna stick to it. So the best way to deal about stuff like that is to leave cardio as a last minute tool and focus on weight training. Because when you're weight training, Obviously, you go to the gym, you lift the weights, that's using energy, which means you, you're burning calories, right? And then you're breaking muscle tissues, and then once you leave the gym, it takes, I think, from 24 to 48 hours for your body to repair the broken muscle tissue. And when it's doing that throughout that time, it's burning calories, right? Whereas when you're doing cardio, you're only burning calories whilst you're doing the cardio. So... Therefore, you burn more calories, like lifting weights, and it also means that you maintain your muscle, if not build muscle, and you know, your strength goes up. So it's literally a win-win-win, like you can't go wrong. And you can use cardio as the, literally like the last bit, do you know, like, because naturally when you lose fat, you lose fat, you lose fat, the last bit is the hardest. So that's when you implement your cardio. Um, for me, I did walks, so I would walk 10,000 steps a day, every day, and that was my cardio. So I never ran, I never went on a treadmill, I never did any of that. I would just go for a walk, put my AirPods in, listen to some good music, do a massive loop around my, you know, my area, and come back home, and that was it. But yeah, <clears throat> so moving on, let's fast forward to March 2021. So I weighed in at 88.3 kg or something, that's my lowest. And that's about 45 kg, roughly, of uh, weight loss. But throughout that, I'm, I'm really, really happy in terms of the fact that I kept my muscle mass. I may, I may have lost a little bit, but, you know, when, when people do it, usually they'll lose a lot more. And I think the reason why I kept muscle and I put on muscle um, at some stages when gyms were open and stuff, was that I kept my protein high. So I would eat 2.2 grams 
um, per kg of body weight. So when I was weighing 100 um, kg, I would have about 220 grams of protein, which is quite a lot, but <clears throat> it worked for me. And speaking of macros and stuff, the next tip is that people tend to generally just cut carbs out when they do a diet. And I don't understand why. Um, when you cut carbs out of your diet, it means your carbs is your energy essentially because it turns into sugar and all of that mad scientific you know, side of it, which, you know, I don't, I, I understand, but I can't explain. Um, when you're going to the gym and you're working out or any sort of activity, you need energy, right? Your energy comes from your carbohydrates. So when people are like not eating, like they literally eat chicken or salad, right? And they go to the gym and they can't lift anything. And they're thinking, well, I'm eating a lot of protein on all this. And, I'm, and I say, right, are you, you know, are you having carbs? And they're like, no. Well, that's your answer. You know, you don't have any energy to, to use. So it means your performance goes down and you just, you won't generally feel good about yourself. So carbs is not your enemy. Carbs is actually your friend. Um, for me, I actually, like, on an average day, I have about eight to 10 slices of toast a day. Um, when I tell people that, they just think, how are you losing weight? Like, how, how does that work? When you lose weight, it's all about calories in versus calories out. So you can eat, like, so much chicken a day and you know chicken and salad or whatever you can still gain weight from eating that and not eating anything else it's about your overall intake for the day as long as you burn more calories than what you eat you're going to be in a deficit which means you're going to lose weight simple as that like it, there's just no other way around it um so you've got to really track your food you've got to like the more specific you are with it the easier it is and the less time it's going to take and another important thing is you have to occasionally treat yourself. Like if you go for so long without having a cheap meal, then you're just gonna crave it so much to the point where when you do have it, you're just gonna go all out and you're gonna ruin all your progress. And some people like don't do a cheap meal, they do a cheap day. And that's crazy because a cheap day means that you can eat whatever you like, yeah? But imagine like you starve yourself, like let's say a bit of an exaggeration, but you starve yourself for the whole week and then you have like, let's say a Saturday and you just go all out and eat whatever you like. It just literally means that all that like week worth of progress that you've done is going to go to waste because you've, you'd eat so many calories that the deficit you are in will no longer be a deficit. Do you know what I mean? Um, so you've got to be very, very wise. I would advise like one cheat meal per two weeks. Like if you really want to see quick results and you've just got to weigh it out. Like for me, I'm, I'm really blessed in the sense that it took me a year and you know, half of the time gyms weren't even open. So, you know, I'm, I'm forever grateful for that. But I understand some people will take them longer and some people might take them less time. So, you know, everyone's different. Um, never compare yourself to nobody else. Um, everyone, like I said, everyone's different. And yeah, I think the biggest gain from this, it's not the way I look, it's more how I feel about myself. Like I am so much more confident. Like I'm able to speak to new people. I'm able to hold conversations. Whereas before that wasn't a thing. Um, or I'm able to take negative comments from people like you know some people nowadays will just throw like a negative thing as a joke but you can clearly tell like when someone's throwing a dig at you but for me before I would like over analyze everything and just sit down and just be like so upset about someone saying something they don't like about me um, and just ruin my whole day whereas now I'm like cool you know that's your opinion you do your thing and just move on, do you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> it's really important to understand the, like, you, you know, you, to understand your own value, do you know what I mean? Like, 
the only thing that I regret was that I wasn't confident the way I am back then. Um, but things take time and it's just it's one of those things. Um, but yeah, oh man, that was a long one. It says 15 minutes on the camera, so apologies for all of you, man, who just sat there, just listen to me waffle. But I hope there's been some stuff there that are useful to somebody and you lot like who are interested to see how I used to look go on Instagram um, or TikTok. I'll leave the links in the bio, but um, yeah, like I'd, I've got a few transformation videos on there. You can see like how bad I really was. It's just, it's ridiculous, man. Like I used to wear like triple extra large t-shirts and now like I'm in mediums. So it's, uh, it's a bit of a difference there. But yeah, I'm about to wrap this up because I don't think, uh, you know, it's as long as it is. But I hope you lot have uh, yeah, found some, some information useful. And uh, give it a like, subscribe, share, show some love, man. But, you know, your boy's trying to make it out here. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'll catch you, man, on the next team. Sunny out.